on Slime Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. This is my review on Meek Mill's new album, Expensive Pain. Okay, first of all, let's think about this album. It's an okay album. It's not the best, I'm be honest with you. I was expecting Meek Mill's Dream Chasers 1 and 2 Meek Mill's. I still miss that Meek Mill's. I was expecting that. Or Dreams and Nightmares Meek Mill. Like, that was a good album. A lot of people don't talk about that album. That was a very good album, Dreams and Nightmares, when it came out. If you haven't listened to that album, please listen to that album, Dreams and Nightmares. Or listen to his first two Dream Chasers projects. Those are definitely classics, by the way, as well. This is a little bit of Meek Mill more singing, more just shouting. It's not, it's not that I'm a boss Meek. Or like, listen to, or go back to the Maybach Music original first, very first project of Maybach Music album. That's another classic Meek right there. This is not that Meek. Nah, it's not that. It's, like I said, it's okay. It's a good album, but I'm going to be honest with you, like, I mean, his only person's album, I think his album is like better than it's probably YN, YNW Melly or um, a couple other peaks, people I've done reviews on. That's it. But like, nah, it's not better. It's not better than uh, NBA Young Boys album I just did. Definitely not better than that. Definitely ain't better than Nas now. Definitely ain't better than Young Thugs now. Y'all know how I feel about Young Thug people in the comments about his, about that slime language too. Young Thug's on his album as well. Has a good, definitely good song on his album as well. But definitely not up there with Drake and Kanye's at all. Definitely not there. So, yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of a disappointment for me, this album. It's entertaining, it has a couple songs that I like, but most of the songs that are on that I like are more, are more like the features. The features kind of me carry this whole album. The features me carry this song more than anything. It's like when the second half of the album hits, when the, and especially with the features, that's when the album gets kind of better. But it's not, no, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of a little bit all over the place, this album. So, you know, and like I said, yeah, it's it's not my one of my favorite Meek joints. I still go back to the classic one, the older ones that came out in 2012, 2013, or 2011. You know, I go back to those more better than this one. Yeah, this this wasn't it for me, this album right here. This one, that's why I was wondering why I heard, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it or a lot of reviews on it, a lot of, you know, stuff coming at me about it. It's because this album really wasn't it like that. It was okay, but yeah, it, it definitely could have been better. You know what I'm saying about Meek? It wasn't his best work, but, you know. I'm gonna talk about the songs that stood out for me, and of course, I'll tell you about the features why I like them so much. So, I'm gonna get straight to it now. So, just, I kind of gotta remember, like, Ride, his song with him and Kalani called Ride. If y'all know me, y'all should know that I'm a big Kalani fan. Y'all know me that well. I'm a big Kalani fan. I've been a fan of her since day one. You know, we saw in a Breath of interview how Nick Cannon is actually responsible for her getting put on, getting her fame and all that. I remember a buddy of mine I used to hang out with, you know, he was one first told me and mentioned me about Kalani. And like, wow, yeah, Kalani, yeah, for sure, like, this, this song Ride with her with him, with her and Meek, like, that's one of probably, I say it's not my favorite, but it's like close to my second favorite song album. I love it. It's a good song. It's one of those albums on the song I definitely go back to and listen to. It's definitely a good song, but Ride, like, the way the flow is, and Kalani, her voice and everything, that is just so, her vibe and energy, her, her and Kalani have to me have the best voices right now in the industry, from what I heard. They, their music just make you ride and make you feel good, both of them. Hopefully that voices put you in a good kind of spirit. So, I, I love both. I, so I love both of the voices. So I love the song right here with Kalani and Meek Mill. It's called Ride. Second song is me. It's me with Meek Mill and ASAP Fur slash Fuck with You as well. <laughs> this song is, is good and all that. I think one of the song, the why the song stand out for me so much is ASAP Fur is first. ASAP Fur has the best verse on the whole time. ASAP Fur is definitely like an underrated member of the ASAP Mob. Like. You do not hear about him enough. Like ASAP Rocky, about the ASAP Rocky, the head honcho, and on top of that, ASAP Rocky's dating Rihanna right now. He, you know, he's the main guy, the ASAP crew, and all that. But ASAP Ferg is like no, no snobs, man. He to me, he just good as a rapper as ASAP Rocky is. He's definitely that good. If you go back and listen to ASAP Ferg, some of his projects, his albums, like ASAP Ferg go in. He is very talented. His verse right here, he kills it on his verse. Like. People don't forget about his flow, man. That Harlem, you know what I'm saying? That Harlem flow. Some of the rappers. Like, a lot of my favorite rappers come out of Harlem, like Maze. People don't talk about Maze that much. Maze had flow, man. Maze had flow. That's why he's one of my favorite rappers. And he's from Harlem. Cam. Cam had flow. He's from Harlem. Joel. Joel's had flow from Harlem. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even Loom. When Loom was rapping, he had flow. But And ASAP and Ferg is not far from when it comes to that flow of rapping. Like, for sure, for sure. So, like I said, that that's my favorite song now. Me's with... Meek Mill, ASAP Ferg, ASAP the Ferg, and he has the best verse on the whole entire album. Second song is Hot with Moneybag Yo. 
I'm a big Money Bag Yo fan. I've been a Money Bag Yo fan since the beginning. Like I remember, I heard him at this strip club. It's not too far from where I stay at. It's the first time I heard his music, heard him rap, and I was a fan of him since then. I was like, who is that? Like you know all that? Cause now you don't get on in there. You can find out like, man, who this dude is, man. He had this song. He had this song yesterday called. It was with him and Lil Durk. Both this one like both of them kind of mostly on it comes before them before they became as big as they are now. And I was like, I was like, oh Money Bag Yo. Now finally he was signed to Gotti and all that. I'm like. This dude can rap and flow, and now he's just so big now and everything like that. But Money Bag, yo, he kills the definitely on the song with him and Big Meal Hot, you know. Like I said, the features really do it for this album. That's one of the really main things to carry this album, the features. And Money Bag, yo, feature is a good one. It's not, you know, the best feature on the time. I am, like I said, I already said who, you know, my favorite feature on the album was to me, he had the best verse. But Money Bag, yo, it's no slaps on this. He kills it with his verse. Like, I'm definitely enjoy was enjoying it, vibing to it, and all that with his verse. Money Bag, yo, I've been a fan since day one. Always listen to his albums and all that. He's always coming out with good music. So when I saw Money Bag on here, like I had to click on this song. I knew that song was gonna be dope. Money Bag on it. So, so hot. That's another song like on the album. Another one is We Slide. My favorite song the whole time. We Slide is with Meek Mill Young Thug. Young Thug to me is so talented, man. If you don't give a credit how talented this man is, like people got on me in the comment section when I said. I like the Young Thugs album, Slime Language 2, better than Nas album. I didn't say Young Thugs is a better rapper, by any means better than Nas, but I said his Young Thugs album, but it's just his talent, how talented he is, how he's able to, you know, switch his voice up sometimes when he does it in the right complex of a song and all, the way he can vibe his energy, the way he can, you know, switch his voice up with the music and the sound, and just, like, man, Young, Young Thugs is so talented. His verse right here is so good. It's not the best, like I said, but it's definitely hard. It definitely goes with the song very well. And all that, like he's really like showing his growth as an artist, man. I feel like Young Thug's next song album is definitely gonna be good. He's showing that growth that he can really be actually a good storyteller. I believe he definitely has the capability of being that that good storytelling artist, like and all that. Like I just did review on him, Young, Young Boy's album. I saw his storytelling was good, and on point on his album, I feel like Young Thug's capable of doing an album like that of great storytelling. And this song we slide him and me is definitely good, definitely like a song that was stuck in my head. It's my favorite. It's definitely the main song. I definitely go back to on Meek Mill's album. We slide. Might want to be when it's all said and done. It might be the only song I might go back to on this album. Just to be honest with you. But definitely like we slide. We young thug Meek Mill. Definitely a good song now. Then another song. This is the only song I like. I hear with Meek be about himself. It's called Love Money. This song I like it because the way Meek raps about people and about how people love money and everything. You know he's going through with friends and all that family when it comes. The love with money and it's just a good hype song good motivational song as well so it's one of the few of meek songs on here when he actually turned up reminds me that i'm a boss meek and you know another song y'all should listen to we're gonna get this money with meek meal definitely it had that this song love money had that kind of energy on it but listen to that song we're gonna get this money with meek meal that's a definitely good song classic right there but love money had this same kind of classic appeal on it on this on this album with the with um <laughs> I say love money had the same kind of appeal I say and vibe on the meek on the meek meal expensive album so that's why I love we that's why I love love money it had that same kind of energy on it so like I said I enjoyed this album it entertained me for a little while but like I said because I've been a meek fan since day one but you know his last few projects haven't really done it for me like that like I said I don't know maybe he's going too commercial not that too much of the singing like I said I want to hear that meek rap. That hungry meat rap like from Philly, the song he did with Lil Williams, he was rapping like that. Or he did that song with DJ Drama and Two Chains. Like, I wanna, you know, hear that meat, you know. Waiting for my moment. That's the name of the song, Waiting for My Moment. Check it out, listen to that, Waiting for My Moment. That's another classic meat verse right there. But this, you know, this album it really feel like it has songs that like that or verses like that on it. So like I said, the features carried it. So it's a good album. Like if you're a meat fan, I definitely think you should listen to it. If you're a meat fan, but if you're not like a really a meat fan, I don't think you should listen to it at all. But like I said, it was it was straight. You know, I like I said, I give it like a seven out of ten, maybe maybe even a six. I'm gonna be honest, probably a six out of ten. It just didn't really do it for me like that. Like I said, it's only a few songs. I think I will out all the four songs, five songs I name, I like them. I may only go back to two. Probably that I probably will still listen to coming next year or something like that. So, but. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, hey, good for you. But I didn't enjoy, it. I didn't enjoy it at all. Like I thought I would, but you know, like I said, it's still in it. So like I said, but it's still entertainment. Like I said, some of the songs. So I'm still gonna be a Meek fan. I'm still gonna listen to his music, and check him out for any versions and all that, and everything. I think I got enough projects that you know this project don't make me not become a fan of his no more. So you know, but like I always say, man, hit that subscribe button. Like the contact is slide me that sports slash hip hop. 
have done any football reviews or anything like that because I really got a lot of views on. I was doing a week reviews on football and all that. I might just combine college and NFL all together if I do reviews on football. I might just combine them all together, the NCAA with college and NFL. So, you know, that's how I probably might do my videos. That's probably the next thing I'm going to do if I do a video on sports. Probably tomorrow will be about college and NCAA at the same time. So, I mean, college, NCAA, NFL at the same time. So, that's what I'm going to do. But, like I always say, man, this is Slime Media Sports Slash Hip Hop. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Be safe out there where you're yet. And good night.